Today I want to show you how you can create a basic menu which will contain a play button, an exit button and a graphic button. Ok so let's start. First of all you need a blueprint. So do a right click, then go to blueprints and in here click onto actor. Now name it for example menu and enter. Ok now you need those meshes here. A number 1 mesh, a number 4 mesh, a back mesh, exit mesh, graphic button mesh, play mesh and a shadow mesh. Because instead of using a hut we will use those meshes to activate our events. Ok so now we have to place them into our blueprint. So we just create a new component and there we will choose audio. This will be the menu sound. Now click onto the root and now just drag and drop your meshes to the back, exit button 4, 1 and so on into our blueprint. So just drag and drop this one here, this one here, then this. Now in here we have to create the appearance of our menu. So in here you can add a background, sound, particular effects and so on. But I will just use those buttons now. So we select the play button and I will move it right up here. Then I will take the exit button and I will move it here. Then of course the graphic button. Leave it like that now. Then we get to the shadow button. This one I will scale down a little bit. And I will place it right here. Because now we will create the second stage of our menu. So that way you can change the graphic settings. So we will take one and then we will drag it right here. Scale it down a little bit. And right here. Then we will take the 4 button. And scale it down. And place it right here. Ok, now the back button will be placed here, very small. And then we will copy the graphic button and paste it. And then I will move it right up here. Ok, now we have to rename the static meshes. So the first static mesh is called, let's say, button 1. And the second one is called button 4. This one here is the back. Then of course exit. And the graphic button 1. Or graphic, let's say main. Then of course play. And shadow. And of course the second graphic button. Oops, sorry. I will name it, let's say, graphic underscore 2. Ok, so now we can jump right into our graph. So in here we have to create some events. So first of all we need some on-click play events, which will be caused when we click onto our buttons. Therefore we will go back to component, then we will select the play button, and down here under events, click onto it, and then just choose on clicked. Now this here will be the play button. So with that button we will start the level. So there we just have to do a right click, then we type in open and then add an open level node and connect it to the on click play. Now on the level name you have to add your level. So later on this level here will be loaded when you click onto our play button. So just go back and we'll go to file open and let's say we will start the example map. So just copy the name and then we'll paste it right into here. Oops. Okay, now go back to the component tab, select the exit button, and do the same with him. So go to the event, click onto on clicked, and now in here we have to do right click, type in quit, and then add a quit game, and connect it with the on clicked exit. Now when we click onto our exit button, it will quit our game. Now go back to the component, go to graphic button main, and do the same with him. So click on to add event, on clicked, and now we have to add a toggle visible event. So just add one of our actors here, go to get, then pull this out and type in visible, and add a toggle visible button. Ok now with this button here, we will hide our play, exit and graphic main button, because with that we will jump into our second stage of our menu. So we will just connect this one here with the toggle visibility, and then down at target I will also add the exit button and our play button.
Now we have to add another toggle visibility event. So we'll just drag and drop the button one into my level. And we'll drag this out. And I will type in toggle. Now with this toggle visibility, we will unhide the button one, the button four, the back button, the shadow button, and the graphic two button. So I'll just add the graphic two button, the shadow button, then of course the back button, and of course the button four. And we will connect all of them with the target. Okay, now copy this whole string here and paste it. Now up here do a right click and type in event and then add an event begin play. Because now when the game starts we want to hide them. And when we press the graphic button it will unhide them. So this toggle visibility has to be placed between the on click graphic main and the second toggle visibility which will hide the exit play and graphic main button. Okay. Now go back to component, click onto back, go to events and there you have to choose add on clicked. Because now when we click the back button, we want to unhide the exit graphic main and the play button. So we'll just connect this one here with the toggle visibility. Now we will have to change the graphic settings. So go back to component, select button 1 and button 4, go to events and choose on clicked. Now do another right click, type in console and add an execute console command and copy this one and connect the first one with on click button 1 and the second one with on click button 4. Now on the command we have to type in a console command. Now in my case I will just type in sg point shadow shadow quality and then 1. This means when we click the button 1 button it will set our shadow quality to 1, so the worst shadow quality. Now we just have to copy this console command, then we will paste it onto on button 4, and there we will type in 4, so the best shadow quality. Ok, and that's it, now just compile, and now close this blueprint here. Now in here we have to create our own player control, our own game mode, our own hut, and of course our own pawn. Now do a right click, go to blueprint, down here custom classes, type in pawn, select the pawn and go to select and name this pawn and that's it. Now do another right click, go to blueprint, down here custom classes type in player, then choose the player controller and go to select and call it player control. Now do a double click onto the player control, go to defaults and under the mouse interface enable show mouse, enable click events, enable touch events, enable mouse events and enable touch over events and go to compile and save it. Now do another right click, go to blueprint, type in game, choose game mode, and select it and let's call it game. And of course a hut, so do a right click, go to blueprint, type in hut, select this one here, go to select and type in hut. Then open it up, go to defaults and enable suppress native hut. And compile and save. Ok, now open up the game mode. Go to defaults and in here we have to add our created blueprints. So a default pawn class, select our pawn, so this one here. Then a hut class, we will select our hut. Then a player control class, we will select our player control. And spectator, we can leave it like that. Now we'll click on to compile and then on to save. Ok, so now we are nearly finished. Now open up a new map. Then place our blueprint into our level. Then add a light, for example I will add a skylight. And I will build the light once. Then place the player start like this one here. So that the arrow shows into the right direction. Like this. And then try it out, click on to play. And as you can see we already spawn as a third person blueprint template. To change that we have to go to world settings. And under game mode, we have to choose our game mode, so in my case, game. And when you now press play, you can see, we are now in the first person view and we can't move. And for example, when we click on to exit, it will exit our game. When we click on to graphic settings, it will enable our graphic settings and here we could choose either 1, as you can see here, the graphic turns very bad, or 4, the graphic gets very good. And with the back button, we can go back to the main menu. And as you can already see here, 
it doesn't hide our graphics settings buttons. So go back into our menu blueprint. And I can already see our mistake, we've connected the back button with the toggle visibility from the play, graphic main and exit button. We'll have to connect the back button with the toggle visibility from the graphic 2, back shadow button and button 4, instead of this one here. So just connect the on click back with the toggle visibility from the graphic back shadow button 1 and button 4. Now compile and try it out. Now click onto graphic settings, then shadow 1 and click onto back. Click on the exit for example, and as you can see here, everything works pretty fine. So back, and when we click on to play, it will load up our new level. Yeah, that's it, that's how to create the pretty basic main menu for your game. As I said, you can always modify the appearance of it, just go into the component tab and add meshes in the background, particles or something else. But I will just keep it simple like that. Now you know how to create a pretty basic menu in Unreal Engine 4. Thank you for watching and until next time.